What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and happy new year. Today I am going to be reviewing the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. And this is far and away the most expensive piece of makeup I've ever owned. I got a couple gift cards from amazing clients and friends for Sephora for Christmas. So I decided to take the plunge and try it. And I actually haven't even opened it yet, I've been waiting for this. So you guys will get to see my first impressions, we'll go through some swatches, and I'm going to do a look too. Some info on this product is, um, this is the Tropic Palette as I mentioned. It retails for $162 Canadian at Sephora. And um, it comes with 15 shades. As the name suggests, it's all colors sort of inspired by the tropics. I'm excited to try this. I wouldn't say it's like nothing I've ever seen before, but it still is an original color palette. The price point has always sort of been a mystery to me. I think there's a lot of really good eyeshadow palettes out there that are like half the price of this or less, $100 less than this, around $60. The colors that jump out for me straight off the bat is kind of the whole bottom row. I love this one, it's called mint frost which is kind of weird because it's a tropics palette and there's a color called frost but um mint frost i also love this color which is called xena that's kind of those ones jump out to me the most this one's nice too sangria so i'm gonna try and do a look that incorporates those ones and definitely some of the other ones too so right away um i would typically start with highlighting my brow bone and kind of weird but there isn't really a color I would really reach for for that there's not really a highlighting shade I'm gonna try lemon cello lemon cello it's this yellow highlight looking shade and see if that one is as yellow as it looks okay next I'm gonna go in with pastel melon color payoff on the brush is really good And on the eye too, I'm happy how that goes down. I'm not getting any fallout, which is always a bonus. I wouldn't say that like makes or breaks how I feel about an eyeshadow, but it is nice not to have to worry as much about it. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and deepen with Peach Puff. Next I'm going to go in with this color Sangria that I mentioned I was interested in trying. The pickup for these colors is really good. Really beautiful. $160 or not, it's hard to dislike this palette. I'm just going to go back through with Peach Puff and Sangria just a little bit and drag through into the crease a little. Now I'm taking Xena. I'm going to put it across the lid. The colors go onto your eyes so true to what's in the palette, like better than any other palette I've ever used. Like exactly what you see in this palette is what goes onto your eye. Oh, I super love this. I think the purple, the Xena, and the Sangria, these, this uh, lid color and this outer color are transitioning really nicely, but I am gonna go in with Gusty. Um, buff a little bit of that on as well. I think this might be the first one that underwhelms me. Maybe it just needs to be used with a finger because it's a metallic. Mm. Kind of liked it better before, but come too far. I'm going to take Laguna and tuck it under the lash line. There's a bit of kickback on this one. This is the first one I would say is like. It's just a bit 
dusty. Now I just took a nude liner in my waterline and I'm covering it with the same color, Laguna. Just gonna finish the look off with a wing liner and lashes. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the look all complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that mint frost just so you guys can see it. I'm gonna just put it here. It's a bit powdery too. You can see how much is falling out there, but I'm probably better if I sprayed it first. This color is definitely much better wet. So I'll go ahead and swatch the colors in the palette that I didn't get to try. So you guys can see those ones as well. So this is fake tan. This is cocoa. Like the swatches are pretty bad. <laughs> That's probably me though. And we all just saw me do this eye look, so they definitely perform well on the eyes. So arm swatches are not that big of a deal. That's Sahara. This is nudist. This is vintage taupe. This is that color I tried that I didn't love. Gusty. And it, it is good swatched, it's better swatched than some of the other ones, but it's a metallic, so that's not really a mystery. This is Lemoncello, which looks really yellow in the pan and even on my finger, but then when I highlighted my brow bone with it, it was a pretty good highlighting shade. This is Exotic. So pretty. Tiger Lily, also so pretty. So all those, those are the ones I didn't try. The whole palette's really nice. So overall, I hate to say this, but I do think the palette is, is worth the money. I would probably definitely buy a Natasha Denona palette again, um, if I had gift cards, uh, or even with my own money, I'm just kidding. But um, the palette's beautiful, the colors blend together seamlessly, the color story is, is really flawless and works all together very well, and all the punches of color she put in are, are brilliant. Overall, I would say that this palette is a, like a love for me, like will probably go to the top of my list for things I want to use. Um, I, the price point is crazy, like I can't... I can't understand why it's priced at $160, but my advice to you would be if you ever want to treat yourself, I would try one of these because it really is um, a luxury, a luxury that ends up being worth it. Anyways, you guys, thanks for coming back and I'll see you guys on the next one.